Hi, this is Ellen McCauley. I am thrilled to be at Pray It Off in Syracuse, New York. We are on our fourth week, day 22, we're beginning, of 99 Days to Wellness. By December of 2015, by December 17th, we will have 99 days that we've started this journey. I've made suggestions. People are doing them. I, I, I'm, I'm ecstatic over it. Day 22, attend a Pray It Off meeting. You are here. Weigh in. Everyone's weighed in. Ten people did tell me what they weighed at home. Now, have I ever said before that you're not supposed to do that? I'm just curious. Have I ever mentioned that? Because what you weigh at home buck naked at 5 o'clock in the morning does not count. What you weighed yesterday at the doctor's does not count. If you say you've got heavy clothes on, I'm not, we're a negligee, I don't care. <laughs> what you weigh here at 6 o'clock, 5.30 is what counts, okay. I think we made that clear. Think about what you did well last week and what you need to improve on. I feel a little bad because one person improved so much, I could see it in her loss, and the scale was the same. Now, this, one, this person has a, a choice now. Two roads diverge in a yellow wood. <laughs> Is she going to take the road less traveled? Is she going to say, I did good this week. I know I did. I moved more. I ate less. I'm going to continue to do that next week. Mm -hmm. And then maybe it'll show up on the scale. Or is she going to say, I tried so hard. I worked so hard. Forget it. I'm having pizza. <laughs> you have a choice. Because sometimes the scale, you know how God has his own time? We have our own time. The scale has the, the scale's own time, too. Also, tomorrow, think about your plans for the weekend. I already have plans for the weekend. Does anyone know what I'm doing Saturday? <laughs> Have a book sale, only a dollar step right up. It's so funny because we were at the flea market last Sunday and we sold like crazy. And after a few hours, some young kid came up to me like a teenager and he goes, have you ever thought of being in sales? You're really good at this. <laughs> and I said, hey, I have tinkered with the eyes. <laughs> but think about your plans for the weekend. Have you scheduled time for exercise? If you have a dog and you walk that dog for more than 20 minutes, write it down. It's exercise. Put together a shopping list Friday night. Now, how many people plan what they're going to eat? Write a shopping list. Have an idea what the week's going to be. Or do you just say, what do I got? Food does not mysteriously appear in refrigerators. I don't know about yours, it does not in mine. Anybody do a prayer spot at their house last week? Remember, oh maybe, yeah, I told everyone to get a prayer spot, like a meditation room. Look at what, were you here? Yeah. All right, we gotta get a prayer spot. Go to the prayer spot or sit in your chair and thank God for 10 things. See, Bob and I, our whole family has a thing that we do, I'll say to him, Rapid fire, say 10 reasons why you love me. And I'll go, bing, bing, boom. And they all have to be different. You can't just say, because you're nice and I'm married to you. they got to be different. So our whole family, if you ask me right now, say 10 things that you thank God for, I could give you 100. If you don't have 10 things that you can be thankful for, think about the sky, the stars, the sun, the moon. Think about nothing for five minutes. After you're being thankful, that's hard to do. Sometimes God wants to talk but you won't shut up. That's part of my problem. Help me, Lord, help me, Lord, talk to me, Lord. Well, when I can't get a word in edgewise, maybe I would. Shut up. All right. Do something fun and tell your group about it. They want to hear. They're not jealous. If you said, hey, I want free tickets to Acapulco, or they flew me down, I laid on a beach, they'd be like, are you lying? But they might, you know, tell them. All right, October 25th. I mean, October 4th, day 25. Think about a recipe you can try and then share it with the group. Something new or with a different twist. Try it. People brought in recipes for me this week. Here's number two. Pay attention to this, everybody. Write your own prayer for a healthy lifestyle. Type it up and give it to Ellen next week. You get extra credit.
<coughs> extra credit in this group is huge. And you're sitting there, it is. How come I haven't heard about it? Oh, it's huge. And let me tell you, I will read them aloud to the group if they're good. If they're bad, I'm going to read them aloud to the group anyway. I'm going to read them all aloud to the group. But I won't say your name. Think of ten reasons why you want to live. I can't stress that enough. We're alive. Praise God for Mondays and cut back on those calories. I am amazed what people eat on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Because you know what Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday are to me? Nothing. Those days mean nothing to me. Are you having a party? Hey, I'm having a party Monday night. Come on over. I mean, if you're, it, those are days where you could buckle down, cut back on your calories. Think about humility and why it's important in your life. And you might say, Ellen, I'm not quite sure what humility is. We're going to talk about it. Pick up your hand weights or your soup cans and move them up and down or forward and backward. Try doing it for 20 minutes. Try to do it every day. Oh my gosh. Read the intercessions. I can't say enough how important it is to pray. Do that on October 6th. October 7th. Do not overeat today. You have to wait in tomorrow. <laughs> what is your favorite healthy food? Share a favorite healthy food with your group tomorrow. I can, right now, hummus, spaghetti squash, Greek yogurt. Didn't eat any of those things before I pray it off. I want to marry, have children, and leave Bob for spaghetti squash. That's how much I love. <laughs> I think it's the greatest thing there ever was. Congratulate yourself on four weeks of healthy living and praise God for all his blessings. Think about it. Four weeks. Four weeks. A habit can be made in four weeks. I'm going to stop right there, Bob.